Our next section we're going to be looking at is section 12B, the renewable energy assets section. This is section 12, capital letter B. Now, this is when you, you get this allowance if you purchase a capital asset, and that capital asset is used in the production of renewable energy. So, renewable energy assets are assets that produce the following. Biodiesel, bioethanol. Electricity from wind power, right? Electricity from solar power energy, electricity from hydropower of not more than 30 megawatts, electricity from a biomass comprising organic wastes, landfill gas, or plant material. Right, and then I've kept these two separate for now because they're the same. Um, there's just differences in the megawatts. A photovoltaic solar energy of either more than one megawatt or one which is less than one megawatt. Now, this does also not apply to buildings. Now, guys, all of these things over here, obviously, it's a little bit strange. Most of us are not engineers or environmental experts of these type of things, and renewable energy assets is experts. We're trying to be accountants. So what I want you guys to do is, obviously, you need to work through this list so that you can recognize they talk in the exam about solar energy or bioethanol or photovoltaic energy that you then know that they are referring to this section. Right, how does it work? The deduction tells you first of all, this must be the first time that you are bringing an asset into use to claim this deduction. So in other words, it can be a new or a used asset, but it must be the first time that you are using it. So it's not an asset you can buy once, sell it to someone, and then buy it back from them later, and then claim it again. You can't do that. So it must be the first time that you are using it. What is the deduction? The deduction is, so if we refer to that, the deduction contemplated in subsection 1, that subsection 1 is of section 12b, shall be calculated on the cost to the taxpayer, and the rate shall be, in the case of an asset, other than an asset in paragraph b, okay, we'll talk about that now, in respect to the year of assessment in which the asset is so important to use, 50% of the cost, in the respect of the second year, 30% of the cost, and in respect of the third year, 20% of the cost. So this is year one, the year it's brought into use. So year one, two, three, you claim 50, 30, 20%. Straight line, we don't apportion it. They say then, this is for all assets which are not mentioned in terms of section, subsection 1H2BB. Now this section over here is the section that tells you that refers to assets which produce photovoltaic solar energy not exceeding one megawatt. Right, so photovoltaic solar energy not exceeding one megawatt. So guys, the whole idea behind this is to encourage taxpayers to also buy renewable energy assets. As you know, in South Africa, energy is a problem. So this is something I think that should be encouraged even further and more people should be aware of. So how it works is, guys, if you buy any of these assets, except for this one, which is not exceeding one megawatt, you claim 50, 30, 20. If you buy the one which does not exceed one megawatt of voltaic, you can claim 100% of the cost immediately when you bring it into use.